Well, it's that time that we learn some proper English pronunciations with none other than Willis, the wordmaster, coming to us straight from Kisumu County. Willis, is it a coincidence or <laughs> I'm sure people are wondering if we planned to wear this royal purple. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm also wondering why we have this coincidence because, you know, royal purple in Kisumu and Nairobi, it's a big <laughs> coincidence. But to me, it's a telling image of a tough night for our run tonight. All right, I'm sure it's a tough night. Let's get to the first tough word. You've heard Kenyans there, you know, having, I think this is the hardest word we've ever given our Kenyans on the street. Is it bourgeoisie, 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 bourgeoisie? <laughs> Varying pronunciations there. What is that word, Willis? Betty, we say bourgeoisie, bourgeoisie. Okay. It's a very tricky French word uh -huh. or a borrowed word from French. Mm -hmm. So some would even say bourgeoisie bourgeoisie <laughs> and all that but yeah. the correct or acceptable pronunciation is mm -hmm. bourgeoisie okay bourgeoisie and willis are there words in english that are unpronounceable <laughs> well this is a tricky one mm -hmm. not unpronounceable as such but very tricky we okay. have certain words which may be foreign, some mm -hmm. may be too long, mm -hmm. and all that. Okay. This one can be pronounced, but very tricky. Very tricky. All right, Willis, let's get straight to our second word. Do we see adult or adult? It's a simple word, but uh, varying pronunciations. What we should understand is that in this word, mm -hmm. U-L-T uh -huh. is old, old. Letter U takes the mid-central vowel sound of. Uh -huh. adult but oh. you can also say adult uh -huh. so we also have cult uh -huh. cult uh -huh. not cult uh -huh. not catapult uh -huh. we say catapult okay. and we say adult or uh -huh. adult not right. adult okay well let's, let's get straight to our second word um do we say constituency or constituency well, when we are using the British English pronunciation, which in most cases is recognized as the most standard one for mm -hmm. serious communication, mm -hmm. we say constituency, mm -hmm. constituency. Okay. But the Americans or the North American pronunciation is uh -huh. constituency. Okay. So both can be used, uh -huh. but if we pick the mm -hmm. British pronunciation, we say Constituency. Constituency. All right, got that one. Moving on to our fourth word. This mishap, like um, a mistake, something that happened that shouldn't have happened. Is it mishap? Do you pronounce that H or is it mishap? Hmm. We don't have what we call a consonant digraph in that uh -huh. word. Uh -huh. S and H are articulated separately, uh -huh. not as sh. We uh -huh. say mishap. Okay. Miss Hap. So okay. S on its own, uh -huh. H on its own. Just okay. like Miss Heat or uh -huh. Miss Handle. We don't uh -huh. say Miss Handle, Miss Shit. No. <laughs> Miss Hap. All right. <laughs> Miss Hap. <laughs> Got that one, Willis. So it's also not Miss Up. The H, you actually pronounce the H. <laughs> yes. All right, Willis. Let's get straight to another word. Duodenum, duodenum. I know you remember this word from your biology. I do. I remember this word, you know, meaning the first part of the small intestines, I'm sure. Is it duodenum or duod duodenum? This one was asked by students who want to know the pronunciation. Well, Betty, mm -hmm. some of these words, mm -hmm. we mispronounce them because of what we heard our teachers, <laughs> our handlers, and even what we hear from TV or radio. Yes. But when we say that we want now to talk about the standard or acceptable pronunciation of this word, uh -huh. we say diwodinam, di diwodinam, oh. okay. not duodenum the way it's normally said. <laughs> Duodenum. That's a surprise, Willis. <laughs> Duodenum. Duodenum. Hey, that one is a surprise. I'm sure. Du. 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 Duodenum. Is that right? Yes. Okay, Willis. We say <laughs> duodenum. Okay. Okay, Willis. Got it. Got it. That one will help very many people, especially in primary school. Let's move on to the next word. I know. <laughs> this word, hibiscus. 
I've had a colleague of mine in the newsroom saying hi hibiscus, and I was like, that's wrong. Who was right, Willis? Is it me or my colleague? Is it hibiscus or hibiscus? <laughs> the calling is right. The calling uh -huh. is right. Okay. Hibiscus. But remember, when we're talking of this tropical plant, uh -huh. the tropical plant is also pronounced as hibiscus okay. or hibiscus. Okay. Hibiscus, hibiscus. You okay. remember I talked of finance uh -huh. and finance the other time. Yes. All right. So it's both, both words are correct. Okay, Willis. Moving on to our, you know, our feedback question. Um, Breathalyza, breathalyzer. Help us on that word, Willis. I think somebody called Joseph Mayo of yes. Kisi asked me that question too on yeah. Twitter. Yeah. Anyway, we say breathalyzer, breathalyzer, okay. not right. breathalyzer, uh -huh. not breathalyzer. Uh -huh. It's just a flat one with a primary stress or at the onset. Okay. Breathalyzer. Breathalyzer. Well, let's get straight to your surprise word. I'm sure the duo denim should have been our surprise word. But do you have any other surprises <laughs> for tonight? <laughs> Betty, sometimes we have to keep it simple. Uh, yeah. <laughs> for us to, you know, uh, <laughs> talk to everybody. Well, Betty, we have to keep it simple sometimes yeah. for everybody to be following us. And in this case, when we talk of the scale of temperature, that is C E mm -hmm. L S I U S. Mm -hmm. Many people say sell shears. Mm -hmm. Shears. Mm -hmm. We don't have the sound sh mm -hmm. in that word. Mm -hmm. It's sears. Sears. S I U S. Mm -hmm. Sears. It means sell sears, ah. not sell shears. No. The way many people say it. <laughs> All right, Willis. That's a big surprise. Sell sears, <laughs> not sell shears. That also goes back to our schools, our teachers, and the pupils. Celsius. Got that one, Willis. Willis, always a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you very much for tonight's lesson. <laughs> <laughs> it's always my pleasure to be on my seat for the favorite segment. <laughs> Willis, the white master there, coming to us from Kisumu County, teaching us those tough English pronunciations. Remember, you can catch him on Twitter. His handle is at Willis Ocheng1. This has been Mind Your Language right here on Friday Briefing.